some bang. Especially the strong. If you've ever launched a business, it's hard enough telling your friends and family what you want to do. It's scarier telling the world in a way where you might fail publicly. I had been jumping around from idea to idea and finally landed on the idea of high quality domestically produced underwear. I set it up on Kickstarter to figure out how many I could pre-sell basically to gauge market demand in advance of making anything. There didn't seem to be a lot of risk, because if enough people don't raise their hands, if I didn't cross that 50,000 uh, goal line, I wouldn't have to make anything. All the money would go back to everybody who had offered to pledge it, and kind of no harm, no foul. But even if people were interested, we probably still wouldn't cross that line. So I would know that the interest was there, and now I could, I could take my time to figure out how to do this thing right. Instead, I, I pushed the start button on the Kickstarter program and $297,000 worth of underwear orders came, came rushing in. My brother-in-law calls me up one morning and he goes, hey man, you're crushing it. This is amazing. You know, I'm so proud of you. But I think you should know you're probably losing money on every one of these sales. And what he was able to calculate, but I wasn't able to see, or wasn't working on, I guess, was all of the costs in between. So I, I was looking at roughly what it costs to make a pair of underwear, and then making a couple little guesses, and then making sure that that number was less than the number you were pledging. But, you know, some things that I probably wasn't properly considering, 3PL warehousing, packaging, people to put things in the packaging, in the envelopes, postage. I mean, I was charging, I think, uh, $10 to ship your order internationally. Some of these orders were going to the United Arab Emirates at cost of $65 to mail it just from here to there. So it was, it was daunting. It was frightening. We basically got the, uh, you know, the deficit, the additional money that it would take to make this all go down to $30,000. Um, which happens to be about or close to all of my life savings. So, so it was easy enough to go like, all right, okay, I got that covered. Like at least I know that I can do this thing now and now I just need investors. I think I wouldn't have had the nerve and I probably wouldn't have considered uh, finding investors or trying to find investors if I hadn't already really seen this success in this way. And if I had it to do again, I think I would do it exactly the same way. And it, it's a similar bit of advice that I give to people when they come to me with any idea, which is just do it. And they go, yeah, 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 but I can't because I don't have this piece. And I go, well, we'll just do it anyway. Just do the piece that you can do. Just start it. Because if you don't toe up to the line and start today, you will never start. You have to start with the full knowledge that there are going to be problems. There are going to be unforeseen problems and that they're not show enders. They're not business killers. They're issues that the answers that you come up with are what's going to make your venture special and successful. <laughs>